Hi everyone, Wyndham Quang here from the uh, Adelaide Hill Pain Clinic. Um, now we're actually going to um, do a demo of uh, cold laser. Just because we, um, yesterday there was a patient who was posting on one of our videos um, saying how great she's had uh, uh, in terms of an outcome with her, her heel. So um, she said she had four lasers and it was much better. So um, there were a few people that commented on it. Um, there was a person who just had a cortisone injection, uh, which she thinks at the moment it's going to work and there's a good chance it won't in about four to six weeks so she was asking about it so we just thought um we'll show this demo so everyone knows what it's all about and if you have any friends share tag them in and um yeah we'll get it going so um i've got i'm Gemma. Gemma as well <laughs> so Gemma's going to do the demo for us okay so um Gemma, you can take the phone perfect so I'll be just doing it um, on William today. So I'll just quickly show you how it works and just run you through kind of what is happening. It's like a little stethoscope. There are um, bigger machines, but we found that this one was probably the best for our needs. There we go. So um, what we do is we place it on where the area, area is sore. Generally, the most common injuries that we use it for is that really common or true plantar fasciitis and then that Achilles tendonitis as well. So those um, nice, easy, I shouldn't say easy, but the nicer kind of less inflamed. We find uh, them easy. Wrongs. Find them easy, yeah. yeah. But basically that acute first few kind of weeks, that first couple of months, and we just pop it on. It's pain-free, so no pain associated and we leave it for about a minute and do it on a couple of spots in the area and it fans out a little bit so it exposes it to a large array not just the nozzle head shape yeah so people might ask um what's better this or shockwave we find that shockwave is better in the um, longer standing cases the more chronic cases um, we have actually found that um, with shockwave it's actually made it worse in the very acute early phases so we don't definitely we de uh, definitely don't use Shockwave then, but this is great for that early phase phase injury, um, and also we, we also use it as a second line of treatment if the shockwave um, after four or five visits um, it doesn't respond to um, shockwave, we, we move on to laser and sometimes dry needling. So that's what the sh um, laser is, as we've said. Um, as you can see, we've just moved, or I've just moved it into a different place and just holding it again, roughly there for that two minutes time. All right, thanks, Gemma. Thanks. All right, so um, that's it, guys. That's, that's the laser, fairly simple stuff, um, but works really, really well, um, as we mentioned in the early phases and as a second line treatment. So, um, as again, if you have anyone who would benefit from this, uh, they've maybe tried Shockwave, they've maybe um, tried Orthotics and it hasn't quite worked, um, laser's just another um, option that we have. All right, have a great day, guys. We'll see you soon. Bye.